Hi everyone. Welcome to the third part of tutorial video calling app using React Native. And in the second part, we created a Node.js app and uh, there was a client and a server and the we made uh, it was a simple server and the client just connected with the server and when the connection was successful there was a, a log in the client side as well as server side so it was a very simple client server communication in this part of tutorial we will take uh, things forward and uh, we will uh, add the login feature to our Node.js app. So the login feature is uh, not as simple as it appear because uh, we have to uh, inform every client connected to the server about the new client that joins. So this is this concept is a bit complicated. So uh, that's why uh, this login feature needs special attention and uh, we will be doing this uh, tutorial and doing the login feature in this tutorial. So let's start. So uh, first thing we have to modify the code that we did in the last part of tutorial and the last part of in the last part of tutorial our client look something like this okay so let's see what what changes we have to make so in last part when the user enters a uh, text and clicks the enter message button then a simple text message a string based message was getting sent to the server you can see this method we wrote and this uh, method simply sends a single a simple string based message to the server so we need to change this part and now we won't be sending a simple string based message but we will be sending uh, different types of message so in order to make the server understand and distinguish between the different types of message we will be sending a json message so it won't be a string it will be json and we will add a special uh, property that is type so this type property will uh, define which type of message it is so uh, here we are sending a login type message okay so the type is login and we are sending the username of the user that that uh, is getting logged in so when the user enters a, enters a username and uh, and press the login button let's name it login then uh, this user login function is called and a message a JSON message is getting sent to the server which is of type login and with this message we are sending a property name which contains the username okay so this this is the uh, one difference and the second is uh, let's see what we are doing on the server side once uh, the message is received by the server okay here then we it enters a switch case statement and in switch case statement we will distinguish different types of message so the first case is login okay so when it enters the login case then we check if a username already exists uh, the username that user is trying to use is does is does that username already exist if it exists uh, the server simply responds with a success false and if that username is not has not been used then it enters this else part and in the else part we are sending a prompt to the user that is login is successful success is set to true and we are sending the username uh, that was sent by the user we are sending it back and we are also sending the list of users 
that are already logged in okay we need to send the list of users already logged in so that the new user who has who has joined the uh, the are who has who has connected who has been connected to the server knows that uh, knows about the users who already exist so we are sending the list of users and we also need to broadcast uh, the other users not the user who has already logged in who has just logged in but the users who are already present in the uh, a room you can call it chat room I have named it chat room so we need to inform about the new user who has logged in so we are broadcasting uh, this uh, new users username to all the uh, user that already exist in the uh, chat room and one more thing that we are doing is that we are making the new user join a room that is called chat room okay so these are the basic things uh, that happens when a new user logs in so let's see when uh, what happens uh, when a user has successfully logged in and what happens in the client side so if we look at the client side then uh, the success message is sent here no sorry not here it's sent here okay so when the user logs in a response is sent to this part of the code and this it enters a switch part and it calls the on login function and the data that is sent from the server is passed to the on login function so let's see what happens in the on login function in the on login function we checks check the data status whether it's false or true if it's false then a alert is prompted and it says oops try a different username because the username already exists if the login is successful it will enter the else part and we will save the username uh, using which the user has logged in so that username is saved in the client side we prompt a uh, login successful in the console log and we also uh, log the name of the user that is the username that has been taken by this particular user and we prompt the user list that is the user the other users that are present in the chat room other than the new log, logged in user so these are the things that is happening in the client side after the user logs in successfully okay uh, there is other part of code that is if the user is not the new logged in user but if the user is existing user okay and someone has logged in then this part of code is called and the user is informed that a new user has logged in similarly if a user disconnects then the server sends a message to all the connected user all the logged in user uh, and this part of code is called and that is it's executed and it prompts the name of the user who has disconnected so that's it that's th this is the new code that has been added to the previous code okay to make the login feature work successfully and one thing i would like to point out here is that when a new lo user logs in we are making him join a room okay that is chat room if we don't make the user uh, join the chat room and we directly broadcast the message then the user then this new logged in user use new logged in users username will be broadcasted to all users who are connected but we don't want that we want that the new logged in users username will be only sent 
to the logged in user and not all the users who are connected so for that reason we are making all the users uh, join a special room called chat room and we are broadcasting the new logged in users username only to the user who are member of chat room so when the user joins he is not the part of room chat room but only when the user logs in successfully he becomes the part of a room chat room so that's it that that is the main thing and one more thing i would like to uh, explain here the disconnect feature that when a user disconnects okay then this part of code is called okay and in the server side we log user disconnected and we check if the user is user does exist okay because uh, sometimes the username won't be there in some cases so we first check if that user exist and if the username exist then we uh, broadcast to all the users who are member of room chat room that this particular user has disconnected and we empty the the data of socket as well as the data of user you you will see that we have two variables socket and users these hold json data the socket variable holds the details of the socket that gets connected and users uh, variable holds the uh, information of socket id of all the user you can see when the user login we are saving this to information here we are saving the socket information and here we are saving the socket id to the users variable so that's it that's it uh, what we have done in the new part of the code and let's see these things in action so we are already in the calling app directory where our node uh, node application resides and now we will make uh, make it run so let's do it node sorry we have to we just have to add the code because i haven't added the code there is still the old code in the files the working files so i have replaced the old code with the new code and uh, you can find uh, the complete code in on my website okay uh, in the react native video calling app part 3 okay you can find all the code and whatever i have explained i have all, uh, the theoretical part you can find the find here of the explanation so let's see things in action now so node server dot js okay our application is running on port 4443 so let's run it okay so let's open one more client so that we can check two users okay so both the connections are successful and if we check the server side it's showing the prompt user connected user connected these things were happening in the 
uh, second part of tutorial as well okay so let's see what's new so here we have user a and we will log in as user a so you can see login successful logged in as user a and this list json list is empty here we will log in as user b so here we logged in as user b and when we logged in as user b user b is getting a list which contains contains name of user a so user a is already in the chat room so that's why here we got empty list but here we got the name of user a and as soon as user b logged in user a got the information that a new user has logged in with username user b again if we uh, open one more window and make one more user login then let's log in as user c so when user c logged in you can see user b got informed that new user is user c so now user b knows that user a is there user c is there apart from him who has, uh, who has logged in as user b user a got informed that then there are two users user b and user c and user c got the list of user a and user b and he 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 has logged in as user c now uh, similarly if we disconnect so we will see that uh, user a got informed that user b is disconnected user c got informed that user uh, b has got disconnected and on the server side also like we are getting prompts of user getting connected and disconnected let's open one more window and sorry for that Okay. let's log in as user d okay so now you can see that user b was uh, user b got disconnected so user only user a and user c are in the list of users and this user has logged in as user d the all the other user got the information that new user that is user d has logged in so this is the login uh, procedure and uh, it's important to prompt all the existing user the new user got logged in or the new user got disconnected because uh, this is a real time application and uh, uh, all users need to be informed about the other user so that we can call the right user and that is a crucial part of a calling app so i am sure you would have like found this tutorial informative and you have you would have enjoyed it uh, and if you haven't subscribed to our channel make sure you subscribe to our uh, youtube channel as well as you subscribe to our the newsletter on our website and we will make sure that you stay tuned and we will keep posting the awesome tutorials about react native and thank you so much for watching this have a good day